Hello, my name is Lisa and I'm a consultant from Romanello Consulting. I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on the OpenEMR system today. This is the login page. As you can see, the system has many different languages that the menus and pages can be translated into. Our default language for this demo is in standard English. However, I am going to go ahead and log in to the system briefly under the Spanish Latin American version so that you can see what that screen would look like and what the menu items look like. Just to roll down a little bit, here's your patients or clients. Administration. And you can see how everything has been translated into Spanish. Unfortunately, I am not fluent in Spanish, so I am going to go ahead and log out of the system and log back into the standard English version. In this demo in module, we are actually logged in as the administrator. So we do have access to all modules. Each person that logs into the system is set up by an administrator and they're set up according to roles. They may have a read only or a write only or a read write login. They may only have access to certain pages. As the administrator, the administrator has access to every single page and every single module. However, one thing the administrator cannot do, the administrator cannot write and transmit a prescription. However, they can set up a physician that could write and transmit to the pharmacy. There is, even though we have two clinics and one physician set up, you can see the two clinics, your med clinic and my family clinic and Dr. Brian Adams, there is no limit to the number or, of facilities or physicians that can be set up in the system. Each facility and each physician or practitioner is able to have their own calendar. And the calendars are also totally configurable by um, somebody who would probably be your system administrator or maybe initially by Romanello Consulting. The calendars are easily recognized by color. You would want to set up probably each practitioner or physician in a different color so that you know at a glance without even looking at the physician's name, you know at a glance who you're actually looking at. And um, that, like I said, that is very, a very configurable feature of the system. Also, you have the ability to block off meal times, appointment times. You can block off days or weeks that the office might be closed for vacation or for meetings. You can see that this screen is split into two different pages. If you are by chance doing uh, billing or fee schedule, filling out a fee schedule, you may find this split screen feature um, a good thing because you could be looking here at the charges and the procedures that were done for a patient as you're entering um, charges and getting that bill ready to be sent. If you find that the uh, duty that you're doing, you don't need that split screen and it's a little cumbersome, you can just simply turn off one of the, the screens and be working from one screen. Also, if you're working from a tablet or you're logged in through um, maybe a cell phone, you may want to hide the menu to give you more working space. We're going to pop that menu back on though so that we can see the full screen. The system is almost totally configurable from the front end. 
and even allows you to build office forms or reconfigure current screens to add or remove fields that may or may not be relevant to your practice or to your state or even to the country. For example, I'm going to click on this patient um, and once again, these are all truly test patients. They are not real, so we're not um, violating any privacy or any HIPAA laws. But just for example, on your demographics screen, if you're in a country, say, that does not use the field for Social Security number because you simply don't have a Social Security number or Social Security card, this field can be taken off. Um, there are user-defined fields that can be added employer. Some of your statistics are required here in the United States. Um, once again, you may not require any of this information or you may require quite a bit more. You have insurance, you have notes, totally configurable um, from front end and from a module that's already provided within OpenEMR. So this is just a quick overview of the system. In the second demonstration, I will be adding a new patient to show you how easy that's done. And then we're going to walk through a few of the menu items that might be used for that patient's visit. Thank you very much for watching our quick demo from Romanello Consulting on OpenEMR.